Hello, 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 and welcome. So, uh, we're going to do the Noisy Neighbors, the one skull first, and then the one and a halfs. Uh, we're going max salvage here, two of nine, uh, which means we're at the lowest pay, but I'm sitting comfortable in the money right now, although that can change. If we have one bad mission where uh, one of my mechs gets severely damaged or beat up or something like that, it can, it can really shift uh, fairly quickly as I move in. To the higher difficulties. So this is just regular battle, no big deal. All right, and we are having to use our other pilots because again, we just we take so little damage that we repair really fast. Um, Time to earn our money. Okay, they're uh, they're gonna reserve back. We're gonna reserve back. So they either have to move with me, or uh, two SRM fours. Is that the javelin I had? An 11B, and did I did I up them to sixes? Maybe. I wonder. Um, like a 45 armor normally. I think it had less than 45, uh, but I could be wrong. It just looks extremely like the, the one javelin I had in the game where my javelins just got, uh, they got munched. 14%, that is not even close to enough for me to attempt a shot. 16. Just can't quite get eyes on them. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, Cicada. I know I just saw a hit there. Where where was that at? Really? Oh, but I can't quite get the tag, and the tag's what I what I need to get. Uh, so we're gonna just get right here, just so I can be out of the way of the rest of my mechs. Hopefully, we'll hit the tag here. No guarantees, but that will that will increase my chances to hit overall. No, and we miss with the tag. Okay. Got something coming up on the left. Can we see much about it? Uh, un just unknown. Commander? Yeah. I'm your spaniel. I'm your spaniel. <laughs> on the move. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna save a little bit of heat here. Um, just fire the heavy PPC. That is gonna put it on the uh, the recoil, refire, whatever you call it. Uh, but now that now that I have that uh, exchanger, things are much easier to take care of Commander. in terms of heat. There, those are all terrible hit chances. Um, we don't want to build any heat, so we're going to turn a couple of these off, and we'll we'll take a chance. Not like I have ammo on them. I just don't want to build any heat because that is those are terrible chances right there, and I'd rather not have to melee with the javelin too soon. Okay, so it looks like it's all uh, all lights here. Oh. Uh, 50s and 84s. That's actually 56s, but I mean I, I bring up I bring two more weapons to bear there. I think we got our back kind of protected. They can kind of get a shot on me here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the shot. Mm, didn't do much. Didn't do much. Okay, so they're gonna take some shots at the Vindicator. That's fine. That's the best mech they can target, honestly. I mean, that might not be very evasive. So I think we'll we'll want to get eyeballs on it, see what we got there. Fire starter. Uh, looks like a bit of a melee guy with a couple ER medium lasers for close and distance. Honestly, not that impressive. Uh, what's the hit chances, though? Not impressive either. <laughs> Come on, did we take the torso? No! 
Oh, we did unsettle him, and he's not, uh... Oh, never mind. I thought that was un, uh, unsteady. I'm a moron. Okay, Locust. Uh, this Locust is basically useless now. It's kind of nice when you can pop the rocket launcher uh, units before they go. But you're not always able to do that. Uh, I do kind of, when I see them, uh, take a take a little bit and try to decide if I want to take those out. Because uh, the rocket launcher 10 is not a lot of damage. But they've got enough where I, I have to question not trying to do it, basically. Alright, so what do we have all around? Oops, okay. I... They're, they were attacking my javelin right there. I didn't even realize that. I'm like, what? What is going on here? I'm here. I mean, that's a back attack. 50% chance to hit, and it will... It will devastate if it hits. Alright, so lost evasive... Bunch of fusion core crits. Stability check failed. There goes a knockdown. Standing by. Really, you can't get eyes on anything, huh? Oh, it's just because of the my, my facing. All right, so we're just going to turn here. Uh, we're going to multi-target again. We're going to uh, take A and B, and we're just going to pull the tag over to B. Okay, that's uh, that's decent. I don't I don't know if I'll be able to really take advantage of that with my venom, but we'll see. We'll see just here in a moment. Okay, their javelin is going to. Ooh. Take a shot on my cicada. That's why I like keeping the cicada back. But we have armored it up a little bit. I'm always nervous of a, a through armor crit with for an ammo explosion, though. I mean, again, I just want uh, maximum hit right here. So if I lose, okay, so I have the seven evasion. Never mind. Okay, right leg down. So there's the knockdown. Good stuff, good stuff. Loke is going to take a back shot on me now. Just a medium laser, though. No big deal. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of salvage here I can I can really take advantage of. Um, it's kind of the unfortunate part here. I, I really... We'll take the forest for a little bit more defense because I have the very high chance to hit. Alright, how much... Uh, wow, you actually have quite a bit left on your front there. Do I go ahead and try to take the leg out instead? Do I go for the ridiculously low chance headshot? Thing is, the head, unless you've already popped it a few times... Yeah, you really need it to down, whittled down a little bit. I think we try to take the legs so that it can't run around. Don't have to worry about uh, a bunch of evasion at that point. Nope, no dice, and now it's going to be able to stand up. Uh, I don't have anything else to take advantage of that. Ooh, good thing I did. my javelin didn't get punished there. Well, it might, uh, because I didn't go for the maximum evasion. The fire starter... Oh, excuse me, the fire starter got meleeed, so it got knocked back one, and then it got knocked down. Go. So, uh, Decker. I should have went for the center torso then, with my last mech. Oof. Did I just miss with everything? Wow. So, so special. <laughs> I mean, I'm not seeing any hit chances there. 51 with the PPC. I think we just go for the kill here. 
Ah, ultralight gyro destroyed. I kind of thought about leaving that up because I thought it might have an ultralight gyro on it. I didn't. I mean, you can always check, but, uh... Uh, what are you even shooting with? Aren't you out of moves right now? Oh, we're back to the light phase. <laughs> Receiving you. Uh, Medusa. I mean, those are only 70s. Uh, that's that's. I think what we do is we sprint to the far side. Try to figure out where I can still turn and get an angle. There we go. That's the move. That way he's within our good firing arc there. Uh, we're going to just try to try to maybe get an ammo explosion if they happen to be in that armor part. Uh, they were not, but we got another pilot injury. Oh, pilot ejects. That was a... That was a javelin. No ultralight gyro, I don't think. That would have been nice to have done that to the uh, fire starter with that gyro. So here we got a panther heavy rifle fluid gun. Um, I think I'm gonna try to try to can the uh, panther here. Not good enough. Not good enough. So Panther definitely not going to be an ultralight gyro in there, or very doubtful. Um, can you get? I mean, why not? Wait. Maybe I should start shifting those. If I could take like a leg or something out on that. I'd be really happy. Uh, because that might have an ultralight gyro in it. Yes, Commander. Just out of curiosity, it's only a 12% chance to hit. Um, <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to try to... I think we'll we'll try to kill the panther actually. I was thinking about trying to maybe go to the side and maybe hopefully hit the leg on that. I guess before I do something like that, I should really stop and look if the thing has an ultralight gyro. Hmm, little locust, you're going to take a shot at my cicada? No, you're just going to run. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's let's just see what we got here. Anything interesting? No. Anything interesting? No. So just just kill everything. Uh, Medusa. We'll go ahead and try to take the panther out. Another heat sink destroyed, but not a dead mech. Ooh, I can get behind. That's what we do. We're gonna try to try to just tear this locust apart. We're gonna overheat. If we lose our evasion, that's gonna suck. Ah, didn't. Didn't quite manage to do it. All right, so gonna try to have the cicada take out the uh, the panther here. Good job. Unfortunately, that's not one with a PPC because I would love a PPC. I don't think I have any uh, hanging up in my shop. Alright, so heavy PPC at this point, with no evasion, uh, that's a mech that's in serious trouble. I mean, 126 damage. Come on. 
I do wonder what the, the damage variance are about, because I do see the numbers kind of fluctuate sometimes. I don't know where that comes from. Probably should read a little more on the wiki, or just ask on the, the Nexus forums or something. Who knows? I don't, anyways. Somebody out there does. Somebody does, but not me. So easy, but that was a, that was a one skull. I honestly wasn't expecting a ton out of it. I mean, I don't think there's even going to be any good salvage here, to be honest. I just don't uh, don't think it's really going to be possible to find anything that's uh, good here. We're good on money for just a little bit, though, so I'm not too worried. Looks like everything needs to be repaired at least a little bit. Okay, so maybe an ER medium. There's a case. There is a case. Um, so case just actually prevents uh, ammo explosion from traveling to the center torso. I mean, that would ensure that I, I, my mechs with ammo on them just don't literally, boom, explode. Uh, Guardian ECM, one defense against being hit. Could I come up with another half ton on the Cicada to really put that on? The answer is no, but I might be able to utilize that later. Uh, cooling pod, uh, heat sink cooling pod. So negative 4% uh, weapon heat generated, uh, one heat per turn. Which can be cooling pods or heli systems. I thought that these... Uh, I thought those actually affected uh, your your heat sinks, made your heat sinks more effective. But I could be completely wrong. I was like, that might be something I want, but that doesn't do what I thought it did. There's also a fusion core. I do have, I think, a, a much lower fusion core. Uh, but having a few fusion cores in case I have one mission that goes terribly wrong might not be the worst idea. I, I do like the Panthers a fair amount. I don't think it's going to be better than my Cicada, to be honest, though. Uh, I mean, they, they're pretty well armored, like a, almost a medium mech. Uh, the SRM-4 never really does you much, but what are you really going to expect? Get like an ER PPC on it, then they're not terrible. And the 1v2 is really bad. Uh, so do I want an ER? Do I want the case? Do I want the fusion core, or do I maybe want the guardian for maybe when I get another medium and it just have a few more uh, tons to play around with? I mean, is there anything I'm actually going to use here? And I think the answer to that is honestly a big fat, well, plasma torch. I don't think I'm going to take... I was, I was kind of thinking maybe the plasma torch on my... A couple plasma torches on my uh, javelin until I get it going. I'd have to pull off two medium lasers, but I wouldn't heat up as bad. I'd have to get in a little closer, though. Hmm, I don't... That might let me pull a few heat sinks off, and maybe... I think I got two heat sinks on there. Two heat sinks extra, maybe three. That would put me really close to a narc, though. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, do I actually have? I do not have one. So I think I'll use the case. I'll use the case. It's a half ton, and it ensures that I will not just absolutely explode on a ammo crit. And I'll grab the fusion core because I think that's a little more important. Uh, just having, I think this is this will be the highest rate of fusion core I have, and so I can throw that into whatever uh, medium mech I eventually get my hands on. And what do we get? Um, Panther, Locust, couple javelin, uh, fire starter T. I mean, removing one heat a turn and only negative 4% for your weapon heat generated, that's... If you generate 100 heat, and that's a lot of weaponry, 4% would only be 4 heat, plus the extra heat sinking of 1. I, yeah, I just don't see it being worth it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. 
Hope you've enjoyed, and until next time.